Hi, hello everyone, Luke Force Smith here. Before we do this video, you yeah, gotta open up number four. Like I said, I'm doing one of these a day until I can get, get it all done. And in number four, we have a, um, what was this? A dairy milk caramel. So I'll have that after the, um, after I do this video. And um, let me just narrow this down here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this. Um, apparently, a little little brat has found it a a Mowgli offensive. Thank, thank you that we had this um, bullshit before with fat people finding the fat face emoji offensive and unfortunately the people that made the emoji took it down um so yeah unfortunately these leftists like to win um but um this is the daily mail online i'm going to put this article in the description below so a 10 year old boy starts starts petition calling for apple to change its horrible stereotypical nerd emoji now I have never used that emoji before. I didn't even know it actually existed. But I, after seeing it, I really don't don't see why it is offensive. I mean, like, isn't everyone with glasses a nerd? <laughs> Says the guy who um, collects like nerdy things and um, goes to Comic Con like all the other nerds. <laughs> So Ted Cotty, um, Teddy Cotty, is a typical fucking kiddie name. Ten has launched a pet petition calling for Apple to change the emoji. He says the the prominent front teeth gives the wrong impressions. Yeah, the the the, the declining impression we we like to call that. From a cheeky Obegin to a friendly smiley face emojis are now a staple of a part of many of our daily conversations yeah, I sometimes use emojis I don't really use them as much but I sometimes do it but one boy claims that the urgent changes are needed for one of the most popular emojis the nerd <laughs> Teddy Cotty 10 from Oxfordshire he had to be from fucking Oxfordshire didn't need a posh back as long as a petition calling for Apple to change the offensive and insulting character. He cl oh yeah, apologies for the um, ads. Um, I had to turn my ad blocker off because it wouldn't let me have it on with the um, ad blocker on. He claims that the prominent front teeth would give the wrong impression of glasses wearers and suggests that a smile would be more appropriate. So in other words, he doesn't really want it banned. He just wants to change the actual, the actual look of it, which I suppose ain't too bad, I suppose. But it does take away from the actual gist of the emoji, what, what it was trying to push. It's making me feel sad and upset. What a leftist thing to say. And if I find it offensive, there'll be thousands of people around the world that find it offensive too, he said. So, um, yeah, just because you find it offensive does not mean other people find it offensive. This is just like you that's taken offence to this. I mean, like, yeah, like, they they actually look kind of similar. Kind of similar. Like, he needs to wear, like, the black rimmed glasses. But, yeah, I can definitely see the, um, see the resemblance right there. <laughs> Teddy from... Teddy of Peppard is that a place? Never heard of it. So the emoji gives the wrong impressions of people who wear glasses. The perspective called you, you fucking who the hell uses that word? I mean, come on now. Schoolboy has done his own version of the emoji, replacing the toothy grin with a smile. He said he wants we want to change this. Apple are making it absolutely horrible people wearing glasses and making people think we are nerds and it's absolutely horrible like I said I'm pretty sure everyone who wears glasses is a nerd in some way he's calling for for versions of of the genius emoji and hopes that Apple will switch to it I 
don't think a multi-billion dollar company would listen to a small child it just doesn't really work that way it's got thin lenses and thin frames and a and a little smiley face instead of a horrible rabbit teeth he said like I said I call it the Kleinerman smile <laughs> I like wearing glasses because they look, they make me look see a lot better and they look good and stylish well to be fair like some people like wear glasses I mean not me because I use mine to see a bit better but you can you can wear them for style can't you it's like you can wear them for like because like these ones I like these ones because they're like got black and um, red um, frames so it actually looks quite good bloody expensive pair mind you but it looks good. Teddy was sparked into action when he saw the offending emoji when tensing his cousin and shared his anger with, school, with, with his school French teacher Lisa Bradley. So in other words, um, if for some reason he's 10 and he only just found this. This has been going since the like Apple created iPhones, well, newer iPhones. Madame Bra Brawley, you can tell it's fucking faint, can't you? Helped him start the petition, first around the school and then online. In other words, she felt sorry for him and wanted him to seem special. I like Teddy's inquisitive mind and the fact that and and the fights that he believes in. She said, "He's very vocal." about it but in a quiet and grown up way I think he should be supported that should be supported encouraged and commended as well for the petition he wrote I think the nerd emoji is offensive and insulting to all those people who wear glasses again things that a leftist libtard would say this is what this, this is what he wants to change it to kind of looks fucking stupid <laughs> We think people who wear glasses are cool and and we are worried that worried that people who are getting glasses for the first time are going to think they look like rabbits or rats. No, it, it doesn't work that way. Trust me, it does not work that way. I've been wearing glasses since like, I was oh, since I was like six, seven years old because my sight was basically fucked since birth. So yeah, I'd wear glasses since a baby. Uh, we are asking for you to change the name of the emoji to the genius emoji. Isn't that the same sort of thing though? And change the design. Teddy said it would be amazing if Apple took this idea on board. I didn't hear he'd be so excited. I guess he highly doubted they can change it. His mother, Esme. What's with these weird fucking names? You can tell he's fucking posh, can't you? Posh brat. Was not entirely surprised when he heard about this campaign. He has been like that all his life, always interested in learning, and he watches a lot of documentaries. He said, "Oh God, he's definitely a fucking nerd." Go, that's a typical nerd thing to do. Watch a lot of documentaries. My husband mentioned that Teddy watches Prime Minister's questions. Oh God, yeah, he's definitely a liberal as well. He is very interested in the news and current events, and has a thirst for knowledge and wants to learn to understand things. He's going to be a fucking protester. He's going to start riots before long. I can, I can, I can tell, I can tell you that. I think it is amazing. He has always had strong opinions, has very strong opinions about things, and I think fighting for what you believe in should be encouraged as we tend to lose this as as adults. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. You got, you got to fight what you believe in, but as long as you believe in sensible things and not this bloody stupid emoji change that affects no one apart from yourself. And the man online has contacted Apple for comment, and that is it. That is it. And all these fucking shitty ass ads here. We got some comments. Let's read the two here. I don't. I don't think the glasses are the reason that the kids are picking on your son. And remember when kids were seen but not heard in good old days. Yeah, that's another thing. Though. I'll bet you he's going to get bullied relentless for this. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting this um, this article in the um, description below. Um, 
I don't think it's going to work. I really don't think it's going to work. Like, like I said, he's a little ner nerdy little kid, and Apple is a multi-billion dollar company, so I don't think people are going to listen to him. Pe people's only like believing in him because he's just a kid. He's just a little stupid kid, and people feel sorry for him. In other words, and, that, and, that, and that's, that's the way it is. Is basically. It says you use the kid to push an agenda, that that sort of thing. There's nothing that's gonna come out of it. Um so yeah, this has been this. Um tomorrow um I think it's oh yeah, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I wanna to talk about Fort Park tomorrow. Um I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and up there is the information if you want to help support the channel you can. I'll see you guys next time.